Squarespace and Wix are the two biggest names in website building and they couldn't be more different. Squarespace is curated and designy, while Wix is a little chaotic but gives a lot of freedom to customize. It's almost like Mac versus Windows. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. I'm gonna walk you through six major differences and by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea of which website builder is right for you. The most obvious difference between Wix and Squarespace is how these editors actually work. Squarespace lets you drag elements called content blocks up and down the page and into columns, but there's a limit. You can't just drag elements anywhere on the page. There's an inherent and sensible structure that you stay with it. Wix, on the other hand, is a blank canvas. You can drag any element anywhere on your page. Being able to drag elements anywhere on a page sounds freeing, right? Um, but it can actually cause problems. Let me explain through an example. When I add more text to this element, the elements below it move further down. This is clever. In other blank canvas website builders, the elements would just overlap. The problem is, once I remove the text, the elements below don't come back up again. Fixing that can be tedious if your page is long. This isn't a problem you would find in Squarespace's structured editor. When you think of Squarespace, think thoughtful. Squarespace offers a wide selection of content blocks, and each one is thoughtful and fully featured. Nothing is half-baked. One of the most thoughtful Squarespace content blocks is the restaurant menu. You might not think it, but restaurant menus are a challenge for websites uh, because they have unusual formatting. So Squarespace created an inventive markup language that automatically converts into a stylish restaurant menu. It's a simple and elegant solution to a tricky problem. Another example of Squarespace's thoughtfulness is image cropping. In order to display images in a perfect grid, they need to be cropped into squares. Most website builders will crop around the center of the photo and leave it at that, not Squarespace. Squarespace goes a step further. They let you set a focal point to crop around. It's handy. When you think of Wix, think freedom. Wix has a huge selection of elements. Everything you could need is here, plus a bit more. On one hand, some users will love the freedom. On the other hand, the amount of options could overwhelm. Some elements feel half-baked in Wix. For example, in contrast to Squarespace, Wix's restaurant menu editor feels unintuitive. It has two interfaces found in two different places, uh, and that makes it difficult to get a handle on. But the great thing with Wix is that it's so flexible. There's such a broad selection of elements, uh, navigation options, shapes, arrows, lines, icons, lots of buttons. You could even design your own theme from scratch, which is something you definitely can't do with Squarespace. Website builders often advertise a low monthly rate that's actually the annual rate divided by 12 months. It's confusing, I know. Um, Squarespace is pretty transparent about this. It's right there on their pricing page. Wix isn't quite as transparent. They don't make it clear that the prices you're seeing is the annual rate divided by 12 months and not the monthly rate. So to make this a little clearer, I created a spreadsheet um, of the real prices that you can expect to pay. So as you can see, annual plans are cheaper than monthly plans and they often include a free domain name. So if you plan to have a website for the long term, there are strong incentives to choose an annual plan. Wix's first two plans are the cheapest, but they have limitations. The connect domain actually still displays Wix ads on your website. Um, here's an example ad. So that's a deal breaker. The next cheapest plan is the combo plan, which I'm hesitant to recommend because it has a two gigabyte bandwidth limit per month. How limiting is the two gigabyte per month limit? Well, Calculating bandwidth usage is tricky, but an average Wix web page is 1.4 megabytes. So I'd estimate you wouldn't want more than 25 visitors per day on this plan. The comparison between Squarespace and Wix plans really begins with Wix's unlimited plan and Squarespace's personal plan. These are the first two plans to offer unlimited bandwidth. They have the same annual cost, but Squarespace actually offers a cheaper monthly plan. When it comes to e-commerce, Squarespace is more expensive. Wix's e-commerce plan is 240 annually, and Squarespace's basic plan is 312 annually. But as you'll see in the e-commerce section, Squarespace actually has better e-commerce. Themes are a good example of the difference between Squarespace and Wix. Squarespace provides a curated set of around 70 themes with a definite look and feel. Wix offers 288 themes with more variety and quality. 
Plus, they give you uh, an enormous degree of flexibility. I've always really liked Squarespace's themes. It's subjective, but I think they have the best themes of any website builder. Themes are clean, modern, uh, and they really showcase photography well. You're not going to find any corny small business themes on Squarespace. It's too curated for that. Squarespace has an excellent style customization tool. It's a clever click to reveal option system um, that manages to be both flexible and easy to use. With Wix, you can't change your template without losing all your content, which is unusual. Most website builders let you do this. So when you choose your Wix theme, make sure it's the one you want. The great thing about Wix is that you can really customize themes to the point where you could even design your own theme from scratch. Setting a consistent style to Wix websites can be a pain. It usually involves tediously changing individual elements to establish a consistent look and feel. Technically, you can set global styles. It's just practically speaking, it's never that simple with Wix. Squarespace has the best blogging of any website builder. If you're looking to build a blog, just use Squarespace. It's not that Wix has bad blogging features. It's just that Squarespace has excellent blogging. There's a long list of features, post tagging, categories, drafts, comments, moderation, customizable URLs, and much more. Plus, it has excellent support for teams of bloggers. You can add contributors with different roles, and you can even have multiple authors on a single post. This is a minor feature, I know, but it's handy for a team. Squarespace has the best e-commerce of any website builder. There's a long list of features digital products, customizable email receipts, which is something most website builders neglect. Check out customization, taxes, customer accounts, gift cards, and, and like just a bunch more. But it's not just about features because like most things Squarespace does, it's also intuitive. For example, I find the style editor for the checkout is excellent and easy to use. Wix also has good e-commerce, but it's just not as fully featured as Squarespace. For example, I wasn't able to edit the email receipts customers received. These are the kind of limitations that keep me from recommending it over Squarespace. So one note, if the primary purpose of your website is e-commerce, you may actually want to try Shopify. Shopify is the best e-commerce software available. Um, it's just not meant for creating general purpose websites like Wix and Squarespace are. But for e-commerce websites, it's easy to use and highly scalable. I recommend Squarespace over Wix, but you won't be unhappy with either website builder. I've reviewed over 35 website builders at sitebuilderreport.com and I can safely tell you there are worse options. Ultimately, the difference could be about preference. Wix offers a high degree of control to the point where you could even design your own theme from scratch. Squarespace is a much more curated experience. They offer smart, well-designed defaults that you can use confidently. Thanks for watching. You can find links to Squarespace and Wix as well as Shopify in the video description. I'd love to hear from you, so, so definitely leave a comment, uh, but otherwise, Best of luck building your website.